hang on. Anti-people, now you've gone too far. Here's your anti-Christ superstar. Anti-people, now you've gone too far. Here's your anti-Christ superstar. Do you remember <sighs> when people were paying like two hundred dollars for this Obi-Wan. Do you remember when there was like listings on Bricklink and eBay for from people who I have no idea how they got it early and it was being sold for like a ridiculous amount of money? Honestly, unless you're a review channel that pulls in like that much in profits for a video like that, then yeah, like all power to you, you gotta be one of the first, but if you're just like any uh, anyone else then you were a moron. Listen, I I saw the listings. I was like, oh damn, is this some super exclusive, like, rare thing that LEGO is putting out? And I'm like, you know what? <sighs> sure. I collected all the other 20th anniversary minifigures, however, I am not going to pay $200 to complete a collection. That's ridiculous. It's literally just this, you know? So, I was saying to myself, you know, well, you know, Let's just see where this goes, because this is kind of weird that LEGO would just release this thing so exclusively and not even make, like, an event of it. Um, that's not being like, I predicted the future, I knew it would not, it would, wasn't going to be that exclusive. Like, I actually didn't, and I was kind of bummed out by it. I was like, damn it, you know? If this is what it seems like, then I'm kind of sad, because I kind of really wanted to complete that collection. But now... Um, here we are. It, it just turned out to be a lego.com thing. I guess some people got it as a glitch early, and then some morons paid a obscene amount of money to get it early, uh, before realizing that they could get it for free. <laughs> I honestly even think that the people who are selling it for like $13 on Bricklink are overselling it, but whatever. Considering you literally just have to get what like a Lego Star Wars over $25 and it, it it's free like <laughs> Okay, whoa so steep um But no, yeah, this is him. I'm glad that I got to complete this collection, you know um, I'm a real completionist and aren't we all honestly and it's nice to be able to have this and complete the collection You know the 20th anniversary, you know um, being a man born in 1999. Lego Star Wars is honestly very important to me, and I turned 20 around uh, the time Star Wars, Lego Star Wars turned 20, you know, within the same year, <laughs> that is. Uh, so it's it, it's pretty cool. I was born on the same month uh, that Episode 1 came out. Yay. Uh, you got the 20th anniversary thing on the back right there. Man, people hate that. I don't really know why. I kind of want these minifigures to be distinguishable from the actual vintage minifigures. These aren't supposed to be, like, actual play things, you know? They're supposed to be, like, commemorative displays. So having a little something on their back to denote that actually kind of makes a little bit of sense, you know? I don't know why everyone's getting all pissy about it, because it's really annoying. Even... Ugh, what's his face? Jackass from Planet Ripple, the one who was making the um, Lego Rewind videos. Even he, I think, made some like backhanded comment at it, and I really don't get it because it's literally just meant for display, and having that on the back makes it so that you know that this is actually the commemorative minifigure. Otherwise, you'd have a bunch of people trying to sell that Lando for tons and tons and tons of money. Um and they'd essentially be scamming people. So, you know what? It's nice that we actually are able to uh, have this so that, you know, people actually know what they have. And also, it's just nice to have commemorative minifigures. Celebratory commemorative minifigures for a celebratory commemorative event. And I think it was a good idea, damn it. Shit. I'm sad we didn't get a tall legs, young 
Anakin uh, minifigure, <laughs> you know, like the 1999 ones that had like the regular person legs, so Anakin was literally as tall as Qui-Gon. That was funny, and I'm sad that we didn't get the, that minifigure in commemorative form. But no, six is a good amount, honestly. I'm, I, I have the entire row, you're gonna have to take my word for it. Um, and you know what, it's nice that they did this as, a, as an end of the year uh, sort of promotion, sort of saying farewell to the, to the 20th anniversary year and it's and it's good you got the fugly ass torso that they had from back then i can appreciate just how honest and earnest they are with these anyways i was gonna do a separate review for the other other poly bag i opened but i don't wanna it's literally just a spaceman and a space dish um so yeah uh that's really all i've got to say about this one um <laughs> If you were one of the morons that got it, like, super early, you dumb slut. Uh, bye.